Hello everybody, my name is Rodrick and this is my never ending back catalog of games and today's game is Jump Up. And as you can see, it stars a man jumping from a lower platform to a higher platform. Let's actually go ahead and jump over, jump over, <laughs> and take a look at the Steam page here. As you can see, Jump Up is a parkour game. Into the world of Jump Up, take on parkour challenges and discover all the secrets of the game. So I would imagine in the game, you, uh, you jump up, you you jump down, maybe you jump side to side a little bit, maybe run around. I don't know. Um, it is developed by Tornado Games, who have another game made, a uh, nudist beach survival simulator. I I don't think I'm going to be playing that one. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, a jump up only has four user reviews. That's actually a little surprising. Four ninety nine. Let's 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 jump in and see if it's worth the four ninety nine. Why don't we? Why don't we jump right back in? Uh, first things first. I always take a look at is the settings. So it looks like you can turn textures off. You can turn effects off. Uh, uncheck to get low quality textures. All right. So what does this mean? There's a little hash marks in it, but it's not checked. So I guess I would want to check. Oh, you can see it in real time. Oh, that's really good. I love that. I love that you can actually see it in real time. Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep that on. Red. All right. Um, gamma. We're not gonna touch the gamma. Resolution scale. We're not gonna touch the resolution. Resolution scale. Music. We'll leave that as it is. Um, it sounds like the music slowing down to you. It's like kind of messing with my brain a little bit. It's it's making me think a little bit slower. Is that just me? That that might just be me. <laughs> w A S A D to uh, walk, left shift to sprint, and jump a space bar. C is crouch and slide. F there's a grappling hook. You can shoot as well. Interesting. I mean it's it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's just jump into the game. Let's jump into the game. Oh my god. Okay. This is very bright. It is it is very very bright on my end almost sickeningly so oh my goodness uh maybe we we go back and we drop the gamma down or something that was uh oh no maybe not the gamma what do i drop down here let's let's go back in uh this this actually hurts my eyes to play Anyways, um, we can't go in there. We can only go into the tutorial, so we'll jump into the tutorial. WASAD to move. I mean, that's how we got to the tutorial, so we got to hold shift to sprint. All right, we've, we've reached the checkpoint. Okay, all right, we're here, boys. We're here. I don't like the fact that you can see uh, your hands when you jump. That's a little disorienting just because they're so bright. I have to... Okay, so C is not a toggle. Oh, okay. Alright. Your hands being so bright is, is very bothersome. That's that's my only thing. Okay, alright. So this is, uh... This is, this is, yeah, yeah. You got some levels to unlock. You go through. You go into the levels, beat them. And then you keep going and on and on and on and on. It's not bad. The levels load really instantaneously. I'm gonna say there's there's one major gripe for me. There's no FOV slider, and I'm feeling very claustrophobic right now. I'm feeling extremely claustrophobic with just how narrow this FOV is. Oh, I died. There's no FOV slider, right? Did I didn't miss that? Did I? There is textures, effects. Actually, let's turn. Let's turn. Can I turn some of these things off? What, what happens if I turn them all off? Except for anti-aliasing. There's no FOV slider, so that's that's a demerit in my book. There's no FOV slider, it's just instantly worse. It's about the same. It's about the same, to be honest with you. Uh, Yeah, let's just jump right off, why don't we? What? What? That was weird. So there is a level timer in the corner there. So it looks like 60 seconds is required to beat the game. 
which is good. It, it does feel like that's uh, that's pushing this a little bit, but eh, it, I don't know. You could I could see this being a very fast paced game. I mean, I did mess up earlier, and I'm still at 41 seconds. So yeah, am I am I jumping up here correctly? I I uh oh I fell. Okay, well there's there's that. There is, there is that. <laughs> Don't fall, please. And there's the 60 seconds. I did not make it. I did not make the jump up in time. I, I, I keep falling. Oh. This is new. Where am I? Oh. Oh. Okay. You know what this almost kind of reminds me of? Those games like uh, the Bennett Foddy games. Where am I supposed to go? Up? Where you make a mistake and you f and you just you fall back all the way down to the bottom and you cry. Oh, that was a secret. I think maybe I I could be wrong, but it felt like a secret. Oh no. I think I'm just really bad. I I'm wanting to. What? Oh, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. We don't want to go backwards. I, I don't know. Do I do I need to press jump again? Okay. I was under the impression that I needed to press jump to get to like grab the ledge and get up top, but I don't actually need to. I just need to trust in myself and jump towards it. That is super disorienting. Please don't do that ever again. Oh. Oh. Okay. We gotta jump. A jumper. Jumper! Jumper! And we're there. Okay. So, the thing is, I do... The only problem with this is the, the lack of FOV. Since there's no, like, changeable FOV, it just feels so tight and narrow and gross. Where am I supposed to go now? Where am I supposed to go now? Am I supposed to shoot something? Hello? Game? I'm here. I, I picked up the thing. F? Oh. What? Okay. I did not make that jump at all. All right, let's let's keep on rolling. Let's keep on rolling. Of course. So do I actually have to? Wait, what? Oh, do they is do they disappear? Maybe I don't know. What? I jumped there and he just like slid off. Oh, uh, he did the same thing there. Am I jumping too late? Let's look at my jump. Let's look at my jump here. Okay, so I must be just jumping way too late. Maybe? Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. All right. We're uh we're we're, we're continuously dying. We're continuously dying. I actually grab the ledge. Grab it. Go. Uh, and I fell. Can, can we can we do this? I would like to beat a level, please. Yes, we can. Said the tugboat. Is it the tugboat that says yes, we can? No, that's can we build it? Bob the Builder. How do I not know this? How do I not know who Bob is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, um, as the the day of recording, the, the Binding of Isaac: Repentance is coming out. Uh, I'm excited to play that. Maybe. All right. Um, I think I'm done. 
I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Let's go ahead and take a look at the community hub. Actually, we're going to take a look at uh, the four user reviews. This game is unplayable. Unforgiving pitch perfect platforming and wonky floaty controls. I need to add a double jump or add controller support. Uh, that is the only review, even though there's four reviews. I guess, I guess it is. Um, okay. Well, that was, that was, uh, jump up. I mean, it's very lackluster. I didn't really feel like playing it. That was my review. Played it for like 10 minutes. Didn't really feel like playing it anymore. Kind of made me made, made me sick a little bit with the uh, the narrow FOV. Anyhow, take care.